Now we got it. Why did I come up with the, since I'm recording, you guys don't have to pay if you don't want to. Just making a video. One of the many ways you can write independent work, because um, as I'm going to announce or later when everyone gets here, we are a quarter of the way through the course, so right now you should have 25 points of independent work. Think about it that way, you know, you're turning it in as you go along. Um, so I wanted to give some examples. And I just wanted to think, like, just maybe just write a paper and just show how a short paper is written. So since you guys are here, can you think of, like, either a question? No, no, not a question, because that would be too easy. Like a short research paper, a topic of a short research paper I could write about, like something to deal with biology. So the concept of biology, a particular organism, a particular, you know, something like that. Any ideas? I'll just come up with one. Koalas. Koalas fascinate me because they're so stupid and cute. So many of them are dying from chlamydia. It's just an interesting, weird thing that you don't usually hear from the animal kingdom. So I'm going to write a paper about koalas. Before I write a paper, I'm going to write notes. Let's see if this works if I can do it like this. Come on. Because a lot of times what people have problems doing is writing something in their own words. And it's sometimes going to be hard, especially when you're writing about something that you don't know, you know what the right words are supposed to look like. This is not your major, right? So I'm just going to write koalas and just take notes here. I'm going to look up koalas and then I'm just going to write notes, not sentences, just notes from different sources. And then I'm going to use those sentences or those, those notes to make some sentences. Let's see here. So got the koala. Let's go to the other. Oh, come on. Where are you at? Where are you at? Not there. There we go. So, koalas. And let's also ignore the fact that normally you should look for good, reputable sources, but I'm kind of just making a quick video, so I don't have time for that. So, Wikipedia, not a good source, but let's use it. All right, koala. Here we go. First of all, there's a scientific name. So, I'll just write this over here. Just going to Normally, I wouldn't recommend copying and pasting, especially if it's a sentence or a phrase, but if it's just a word, go for it. Actually, hold on. I just want to make sure that's in the same font. Of course, it's a species name, so it needs to be italicized. So that's what I say, species name. That. Okay. Species name. Now, what else can I find out about it? Um, some kind of call call there. It's in an arboreal or bibulous marsupial native to Australia. So this is another good point. If you don't know what the word means, don't look it up or don't use it. If you don't, if you or you can use it and look it up. So in this case, I'm going to pretend like I don't know what this means because I pretend like I'm a 100 level non biology major student. So I'm going to pretend like I don't know what. What arboreal means, it means they live in the trees. But I'll forget about that. I do know what herbivious means. So, all right, eats. All right, uh, so what do I put here? Just for notes. Um, herbivorous. 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 I can't spell it. Damn, I'm not going to put Herbivorous. There we go. Herbivorous. I know it's herbivorous. Um, it's a marsupial. Marsupial. I'm going to put a little note, parentheses to myself, explain that. Right? Explain, I'm going to really come up with, look up some explanation for what a marsupial is. Because I'm going to pretend like I don't know exactly what it is. I've heard the term, but I don't know exactly what it is. So I'm going to put a little note to do that. What else? Mm -hmm. So are opossums. Oh, native to Australia. All right. That's a phrase I can just copy. All right. Native to Australia. What else? Uh, on the extant representative family. Okay, so I know what family it's in. There we go. And again, I'm going to pretend like I don't know what this says. It's, uh, it's the only extant representative of the family 
all right, how do you pronounce that? Meaning it's the only one that's alive. So that whole family, they're all extinct other than koalas is what that means. But again, I'm gonna pretend like I don't know what that means. I'm gonna skip that. Um, it's closer with its relatives with wombats. So most closely related to wombats. Um, well, found it. Oh, here we go. Even a more specific word there. From. Wow. We only have ten minutes. Um, those areas of I'm going to skip that. Just because again, I'm trying to make a nice, simple paper. I don't need to write down everything that's written down. I'm just writing the big information. Uh, so I'm going to skip that list of where they're from. Easily recognizable by stout tail of body. I don't need to explain all that. Most people know what a koala looks like. Oh, it has fur color ranges. Um, color, silver gray to chocolate brown. So I'll put color from gray to brown. I don't have to use those same adjectives they use, the, the colors range from gray to brown. For those of you who just walked in, I'm doing a little video on how to make, how to do independent work. One of the many ways to do independent work. In this particular example, I'm doing an easy research paper where instead of like copying, like reading that and rewriting it in my own words, what I'm doing is just taking notes. And then I can use the notes to write it myself. This will help prevent me from rewording my source. So I'm just writing down facts right now. Um, typically smaller and lighter. Uh, so the northern ones are smaller and lighter. That's small, definitely small stuff. I want big information. Um, Hello, Moto. Oh, here we go. That looks pretty big. Eucalyptus leaves make up most of their diet, right? So, diet. Mostly eucalyptus leaves. Eucalyptus, eucalyptus leaves. All right. Again, I'm just doing notes right now. Um, low nutritional caloric value, whatever. I'm writing a short paper, so I don't need all this big information. Largely sedentary. Sleep up to 20 hours a day. That seems like something worth mentioning. Sleep. 20 hours, I'd say up to 20 hours per day. Um, asocial, okay, I can write that, why not, that's a nice fact, social, it's funny that they're asocial, you got so many of them are dying from uh, sexually transmitted diseases, um, mark the pres males mark the presence with a secretion from sick lands. so males mark their territory, Territory with scent. I don't need to say that it's from the scent plant. I'm just writing a basic paper here. Uh, what else? Located on the chest. Again, I'm not trying to write a deep paper. If you wanted to, you could put all these uh, these uh, details in. But I'm just looking at the big stuff. All right. So let me look at here. Let me look at this list and think of some things that are not in here. All right. Let me think of some questions about um, koalas that I can add to the paper. For example, how uh, how many, how often do they have babies or something like that? Or how long are they pregnant? So first of all, I'm going to write my source for everything that's above that. Now I'm going to start asking myself some, answering myself some specific questions. Uh, pregnancy. I'm going to look it up. Pregnancy. Let's see. How long are Koalas pregnant. There we go. 30 to 60 days, according to this source. So, here we go. Copy that source. 30 to, wow, 30 to 60 days? Is that for real? Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked here because that's quite the range since 60 days is double, uh, twice of those, 60, or 30. Yep. Oh, 30 to 36 days. That's why. See? I look for things like that. Pregnancy. All right. There's my source for that. Well, there's some other questions I could ask. Uh, life expectancy. Those things you might want to know about an animal. And this will be the last one, only because I'm short on time. How long do, do koalas 
live. All right, 13 to 18 years, according to that source. And of course, I'm doing this in a rush. If I was doing this for real, if I was really writing a paper, I would make sure I read the whole source to make sure this does, in fact, agree with what the source. And if I was doing a really good job of writing a paper, I would look up multiple sources. I would say, you know, koalas live to be, wait, what did I say? Excuse me. Uh, koalas live to be 13 to 18 years. 13 to 18 years. And then I would include, like, again, if I was writing a real paper, I would say, the life expectancy of a koala, according to this source, is this. This source agrees with that source. This source claims it's this, right? If you're really writing a good paper, you would do best to actually incorporate a lot of sources, but that's up to you. So there we go. That'd be fine. And I'm really getting running out of time. But now that I have all these facts just listed, now I will write my paper, right? All right. So my koala, my paper's about koalas. So I could just start writing, you know, this paper is about one of my favorite animals, koalas. Their species name is, there we go, I've already got that. There we go. They, they are herbivorous, I know that. Might as well put it. And since it's getting graded on length, I might as well throw in a little bit of extra, right? They are herbivorous, comma, meaning they eat plants. And then I think, all right, I remember writing something about what they eat specifically. So let me, oh yeah, the diet was mostly eucalyptus leaves. So then I can write there in a different order than what my notes are taking. <coughs> specifically, they eat, you, has anybody noticed what eucalyptus leaves do? Eucalyptus. Oh, close enough. Eucalyptus leaves. All right, so I can delete that. <clears throat> anyway, so as you can see, that's how you do that. I'm going to uh, stop with this demonstration, but that's how I suggest writing a paper. Because, again, some of you just came in. We are a quarter of the way through the semester, which means in a perfect world, you should have about 25 independent work points right now. Off the top of my head, only three people have turned anything in, and maybe on the two. And of those two, they've been having a lot of problems, but not for them to worry. I don't mean that's a bad thing. People always have problems when they first turn in independent work, for the most part. So that's why I want you to start it now, because as those two people with a test, if they wanted to talk to you about it, I am picky. And there are things that you're like, oh, I didn't think I, I didn't know I shouldn't do that, right? So now's the time to start turning in papers. Anyway, turn in some papers. Um, I'm going to try to make some more videos that you can watch to help uh, 